it is the season to look at horror. Yes. What better than Indian horror? Let's check. It. <laughs> okay, we are here, and I'm excited to have Amit joining me from Diva D4 to talk about mm -hmm. an Indian horror film. They're not that common. And this no, is a not. Telugu, Telugu horror film. I don't even know if I know yeah, of any. I, me too. It does not come to mind, really. Yeah, um, I'm very fascinated by yeah. that. Mangal Avaram. Oh, I would probably not say Mangal Avaram. Right. Mangal Avaram. Mangal Avaram. Mangal Avaram. <laughs> Mangal Avaram. Mangal in the title for a horror movie is always good. <laughs> um, this cast, I don't really recognize anybody yeah. from this movie. To be honest, so I've got a feeling it's probably a bit more like low budget, maybe even independent yeah. kind of movie, which is great. I'm I'm all about that. So yes. that's always interesting. Um, horror that, movies so often are fresh. not full of stars. Horror movies are usually where people get their start. So yeah. you never know. But they that's they do true. great in America because they're made for mm -hmm. no money, and the horror community is super loyal, and they love horror and they'll watch anything. So that helps. Yeah. I don't know how Telugu audiences like horror or not, whether that pays off in, te in Telugu uh, language films, yeah. but I, I will watch it. So I will be, you know, spending some money on that. <laughs> so mm -hmm. Bring me some Indian horror. I love Tumbad. Uh, I thought that oh, was one of the one best. One. I mean, just across the board, a great movie, not even just an Indian horror film, but just as a horror film, I thought it was so unique and so great. So I'm always having my eye mm -hmm. open for like cool new horror, mm -hmm. especially folk horror, which I think this might be kind of a psych psychological folk horror. But it looks that way, yeah. 80s, 90s backdrop as well. So that's always 80s. good. 80s. We yeah. love an 80s horror <laughs> time frame. Now, say 80s, 90s. I think that's interesting. So we're going to go through time. Let us know time travel. No. No, <laughs> no. No, no. Let's, let's hope there's some time travel. <laughs> we had enough time travel, Mark Antony. We don't need it in this. Okay, no. here we go. We're going to take a look at this Mangal of Arm. And here we go. All right. Manglaru Manglaru Uli Dindra Kotta Bagoto Puri Jerubutuna Chaulani Mala Chamaki Istama in a Manglavaran Road in a Matra Major Vitana. Tellarite, you are seven children of Sudan and Talskunti. By into Gundaka, no talk of them. Nuranta, make one of the Wow, that was um, 
A lot of things I didn't expect. <laughs> yeah, that was very artful, Harley. There was some definitely yeah. folk horror. It's got a ritualistic vibe yeah. to it for sure. Uh -huh. And anything there's like gorgeous. Like, yeah, beautiful. is that in rural India? I mean, it yeah. just looked beautiful to be honest. Like, yeah. yeah, I mean, it's 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 refreshing after you know. I don't want to refer too much, but we just watched Mike <laughs> Anthony, which looked extremely stylized, and I yes. love going back to something that's more natural. <laughs> yeah, and just sort of the beautiful landscapes, and yeah, that mm -hmm. who is doing the director of photography in this movie? Done a yeah. good job, you can tell from the trailer already because they have some great yeah. shots. Some of the shots with the fire just by itself, just gorgeous, really good. And some of the um, you know, AJ the Aaron well. is the cinematographer, AJ yeah. Aaron, and uh, right. fantastic job. I mean, really? I like they captured the little small moments in a gorgeous way, like even when yeah. they showed the moss covered wall or the, the hand yes, and yes. the silhouette that was kind of twitching with the sunset right. behind it, like just beautiful, uh -huh. little twitchy. And little moments that for some reason put you on edge a little bit, like it seems wrong, like something's off. Like mm -hmm. these gorgeous scenes. That shot of the woman, even in that kind of tub, was like really like great. The with end, the right? Birds, ah, oh, like gorgeous. Oh, oh man, great. you could not keep That's me away from this. Oh, so good. No, it's, that was that was really good. Um, soundtrack sounded really good as well. Like oh, the this was, it's, the music came in at the right time. Um, yes. You know, but yeah, it's a good yeah. it's a good trailer. I realized it was very right. little dialogue. <laughs> you know, yeah, it, it's just it let the visuals. The visuals spoke for themselves, which yeah. is great. Everybody's like, who's writing on the uh, walls? That's all you really need to know. It looked like some sort of ritual mean. writing uh -huh. or something. The music was Vivak Sagar or Sa Sager. Hmm. Vivak Sag Sager. Sager. Um, right. Beautiful music. Yeah, I love the music. It was kind of like a lot of drum, a, lot, a little bit of drum. Like It felt yeah, like yeah, really yeah. simplistic and beautiful. Uh -huh. um, see, that's where I feel like there's a sense in sometimes horror or any film where you feel that, that light touch where it doesn't yep. feel like it's trying too hard like it's it's doing mm. something beautiful and artful but also scary but you're not doing these big like bang loud blah like you know yeah, yeah. there will be loud moments but you feel like the movie has mm -hmm. more in mind setting a mood versus like assaulting yeah. you with visuals like it's like more like sort of drawing you yeah. in like in a kind of sneaky way by giving you beautiful visuals that yeah. are kind of creepy really really nicely done which we will I think there's yeah. a, there was a character with like just like black makeup and there was like one with a mask and stuff like that. So that's the kind of stuff that works well to just set the tone, you know, yeah. the feeling rather than actually yes. the story behind it. Which mm -hmm. I I think that's what a trailer should be. It should it yeah. shouldn't tell you too much about the story. It should tell you more about what's the movie gonna feel like. <laughs> you yeah. know, from the music yeah. to the looks to the scenery. Um but this is honestly I'm pretty pretty impressed by it. I actually yeah. looking forward to this one. Um yeah, it looks really yeah. good. They had yeah. some. I like the little scenes, like there's a shot of people in their eyes, like turning, and they have that little music cue, going, like this little creepy, almost like the eye creaking when it turns. And it also looks like there's some, definitely like a sexual overtone, like with the women, like yeah, something's means. happening. I don't know, like are they? Some of it looks like they were being attacked, or if, you know, it was any kind of some kind of like naturalistic weird i don't know mm. i don't know it, it seemed off but there was definitely they were showing some passion in the side of this little horror movie which was very interesting so you don't see that very often either <laughs> so. no you don't but it looked like it was also like there's like a darker tone to it as well yeah. at times well, as well like very yeah whipping, and it didn't feel like it was like a like you know like a lovely scene it looked like it was oh. like maybe even possessed or something like that yeah it seems from what it from just reading the synopsis, it says Shailu, a young woman, is the heart of the story, and the enigmatic, ang, mm. ang, ang, enigmatic tale unravels with a suspenseful cinematic journey. So it sounds like she's actually going to be the center of the story. Oh, good, um, female yeah, lead. That's, that's, that's really excellent. Good. Yeah, um, she's definitely a witch. There's no other way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a woman is at the lead of a horror film. She's a witch. <laughs> so we'll find out what happens. But no, this look actually looked really beautiful. I'm really anxious. I had done a previous teaser review with Lara, and we uh, yeah. saw it, and it had some beautiful visuals of, like, the butterflies, overhead of the butterflies kind of unwinding into the sky that was gorgeous that I don't think we oh, saw wow. on this. Um, so That's really looking forward to this. looks fantastic. November when is it coming out? Is a, November, November 17th. 17th is a release You day. guys, you're supposed to bring it out during Halloween. Uh, that is the proper <laughs> <laughs> the missing the trick, the missing the trick. <laughs> but you know, horror is always always good. And if this movie's good, I'll promote the hell out of it because I love a good horror movie, and especially if they're little independent films that not everybody knows about. Yeah, this one looks special. Mm -hmm. This does look really good. It looks, it looks good. I'm pretty impressed by it, to be honest. Um, yeah, yeah I, I had zero expectations coming in because didn't know what we were going to see in an Indian horror movie from yeah. no, you know, superstar names or anything like that. I don't know the production house, but yeah, after watching the trailer. Um, it was, it was well put together the trailer too. Uh, even yeah. though it was gorgeous, long, 
felt like, mm-hmm. like two minutes. Yeah. I just think that the fact that they focus on visuals yeah. made it so much better. Like, because you could just be like shocked. And obviously, this movie yeah. has depth to it <laughs> from what yeah. the trailer showed us. Like, a lot of a emotion. Happy, a lot mm-hmm. of emotion, a lot of different. Looks like they're going throughout the village. So I'm hoping there's a bit of world building too to see how yeah. deep this fear is, like how big it can get to and how much yeah. it impacts people. If it does that kind of stuff, man, Ooh. pretty. Yeah, yeah. This this is, yeah. I'm pretty excited to see this. Uh, yeah, I hope it comes close by. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's like, when is it gonna come? Out? Yeah. And uh, there were just a couple of cool scenes that that I'm. They're kind of haunting me a little bit. So that's good. It's like the two people hanging from a tree. You don't see that very often because it's like, no, whoa, no, two no. people. And then they showed a quick oh. overhead of a well, and it looked like someone was hanging on the yeah. edge of it. There's one where a woman was laying next Ooh. to it, but then one where someone's hanging over it. I remember when I was in India, I saw a bunch of those wells. We went to some yeah. villages, and those things uh, don't have any stuff, you know, any fences around them. There's no real, like you could fall <laughs> right in, and they're deep. <laughs> I was like, oh, so that hole, this big open like hole in the ground with the guy hanging yeah. off the edge is really, oh, that's so scary. But anyway, definitely, <laughs> so, yeah. So All right. Very cool. Very cool. Really, really excited about this. Really one. good. So be sure and check out uh, Amit at D54 and make sure you subscribe. And we will see you next time. And if you know of any other good Indian horror films, tell us some of your favorites because I'm always looking for some good horror films and Indian especially. Telugu. Telugu. Yeah, Telugu. Yeah, Telugu. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So yeah, let us know. Okay. Talk to you guys later. Bye. See ya.